template sorting is a common method for separating waveforms into units. The goal of this video is to show how to define templates and discuss the settings that will heavily influence how offline sorter will sort waveforms using these templates. This video is not exhaustive of all the template sorting options and methods available in offline sorter. So if you would like to learn more about template sorting after watching this video, please contact us at support at plexon.com. In this example, we are starting with a file that already has defined waveforms from filtered wideband data. The data in this file have also already undergone artifact invalidation and are ready for sorting of waveforms into units. If you'd like to learn more about artifact detection and removal, please see the introductory video on this topic. In the channels window, in the channels tab, you can see how many waveforms were defined for each channel and how many remain unsorted. Double-clicking the channel will bring up the data for that channel in the 2D clusters PCA, waveforms, and timeline views. To do template sorting, the first step is to define the templates. In this video, I will highlight a semi-automatic technique where templates are defined manually, then units are sorted automatically based on those templates. The first thing to do is tell offline sorter which sorting method we are using. On the toolbar under sort, change sort method, select use templates from designated waveforms. As you might expect from the name, with this method we will be defining a template based on a waveform. You can see some other template sorting tools in the sort menu, and we will come back to these at the end of the video. There are multiple ways to manually search for the ideal waveform. I find the search is easier if the center selected box in the timeline view is checked. This will automatically center the waveform in the timeline view. I also like to zoom in on the other timescale to see the shape of the individual waveforms. In the 2D clusters or PCA view, select Find Units. The template should represent the mean of the unit you are trying to define. If you select a waveform that is on the edge of the PCA cluster, the template will not be representative, and this will be reflected in which waveforms are sorted into the unit. Once you find a waveform you want to assign as a template, left-click. This will assign the waveform and automatically sort waveforms within the channel that fit that template. You can also search in the waveforms or timeline view by left-clicking and dragging the cursor until you find an exemplary template. If you have the center selected box checked, this waveform will be in the center of the timeline view. Right click on the waveform in the timeline view and select use waveform as template for the new unit and sort. As you will have noticed, all the waveforms in the channel were sorted into the first unit and then split when I added the second unit, even when some clearly do not fit well with the other template. This is because offline sorter is using default settings for template sorting and they do not accurately represent how I want the waveforms sorted. This brings us to the discussion of settings for template sorting. For template sorting, the most important setting is fit tolerance. The small box in the bottom right corner of the sorted unit is the fit tolerance. Simply put, the higher the fit tolerance, the more inclusive the sorting becomes meaning waveforms that deviate more and more from the template become included with a higher fit tolerance. The default is 70. If we set the fit tolerance to 10, generally a tolerance between 5 and 15 is used, then right-click a unit and select Apply Template Sorting with Current Templates, Offline Sorter will resort the waveforms with the new fit tolerance. Now we see units that are better defined. Also note both units were resorted at the same time, even though I only right-clicked on unit B. Under Tools, Options, Templates, you can find all the options for template-based sorting. At the top, the option Automatically Recalculate Unit Template is the setting that will recalculate and resort each unit after any modifications, like changing the fit tolerance or addition or removal of waveforms. The template is affected by these changes because the template is the mean representation of the included units. If the automatically recalculate fit tolerances box is checked, 
When units are added or removed, the fit tolerance will recalculate to show the exact fit tolerance value for each unit. I encourage you to try this feature, but I'm not going to use it in this video. Most importantly in these options, you can set the default fit tolerance and you can change how offline sorter calculates the fit tolerance, which will affect how waveforms are sorted. The default calculation is set to min max of waveforms. This uses a sums of squares calculation to fit waveforms to the template. If the sums of squares for a particular waveform is greater than the fit tolerance, the waveform is not included in the unit. Offline sorter can also do standard deviation calculations for waveforms. You can set how many standard deviations should be included in the fit tolerance calculation. If choosing the standard deviation calculation, you can select it to be a median absolute deviation, which uses a modified standard deviation method that is less sensitive to outliers. You can read more about the calculations for fit tolerance in the offline sorter version 4 manual in section 6.5.3. Now that we've covered how to create templates manually and gone over settings, I want to briefly cover sort perform template sorting. This is a tool for after templates have been defined. With this tool, you can resort based on current templates and settings. Let's go over a couple of examples of when you would use this tool. Within this panel, you can override current fit tolerance settings. Here, I can make the units more exclusive by lowering the fit tolerance to seven. Immediately, you can see the changes are applied to the units. You can do this to all units in all channels at the same time. Another example of when you would use this tool is if you defined all your templates with an automatic cluster sorting method, but then wanted to apply template sorting. In the same file we have been using as an example, I have performed an automatic cluster sorting method to define the templates. I'll apply template sorting using sort apply template sorting menu. You can see it used the templates created by the automatic cluster sorting method, but then resorted the waveforms using the template calculation method. What we've gone over in this video are standard template sorting methods. Adaptive template sorting is not something we will cover in this video. It is an advanced tool you might use if sorting multiple files from a single experimental animal and expect unit clusters to drift in PCA space over time. If you would like to learn more about this feature and how you can also use it during online sorting in Omniplex Release 20, contact us at support at plexon.com.